Hi ho there folks, and welcome to the next Prince of Persia game. Now coming off the tail end of the two thrones, I said I was going to go ahead and start... Did I ever say the two thrones? The Warrior Within, coming off the tail end of the Warrior Within. Goddamn, only like two minutes and I'm already fucking up. Coming off the tail end of the Warrior Within, I'm going to be starting the two thrones here. By far... Probably my favorite out of the three original games. Um, it's the Two Thrones, and I believe maybe the Forgotten Sands and the Sands of Time themselves are tied, but it's right about the same time. I know the effects in this game are fucking loud, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Well, let's increase everything actually. About where they need to be, so like one or two above everything. Above what they were before. Let's, let's give that a go at least. Display. Aw, oh, no 3D, damn it. Camera. Slow motion. I, I think we're good. I, th I think we are gravy. Let us start a new game. Let's play it on easy. I'm being up. No. We go normal. We go medium. We all make mistakes. Some are small. Some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. Oh, 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 home's a little fucked up. No. Uh oh. Ready. They were expecting us. Come on, man, get some air. Get some air. Kylina looks a little bit different from the warrior within. My beautiful hair is all wet now. Babylon's all fucked up too. My home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Alright, yeah, maybe I need to change the settings again, because this is too loud. Have taken their place. The 
big burly dude. Let her go. Damn, man, already. Already into the thick of it. So as you could have heard, Yuri Lowenthrill, by Lowenthal, I think that's how you pronounce his name, has returned again for the voice of the Prince of Persia. Now, I need to change those sounds because that was fucking loud. That was blaring my ears. No one? Eh. Yeah. I know I want voices higher up, so... I think that's good. Let's try that. Because the cutscenes are quieter than everything else. Very good. I will continue. That's about right. I can accept that. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. Oh, the shit. dark side tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. So as you can see, everything's like looking different. Kylina looks... The best I can describe it is that her chest is smaller. <laughs> if you remember the uh, the cutscenes for The Warrior Within, like her her bust size looked like it was big as shit. And this one it's a lot more smaller? So it looks more... normal? I, I don't know, the best way I can describe it is I don't know. Everywhere there are signs of battle. What of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? I don't know, man. Home, home is fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what do you want me to do? Oh, you just want me to jump from here? Oh, okay. Also, we're looking. I like this outfit. This is cool. Also, these uh, these armbands, the bracers, those are pretty cool. Anyways, what? Oh, okay. Also, for some reason, I don't know, this game feels a lot more responsive, the best I can describe it. Like, there's no, there's no delay at all. Because I felt like the Warrior Within had, a, like, the teeniest amount of delay, but it didn't fuck you up at all. Oh, drink near a fountain. Pull, R1. How, you don't pull the button, you press it. Mm, delicious fresh water, finally. It's ages and ages scary. on the sea. And also we have Kylina uh, narrating for us. Oh yeah. Don't pay attention to those. I haven't played in a bit, though. But I love this game. I, I'm pretty sure, hands down, this is my favorite out of the trilogy. We should resume the tale next time? Oh, well, let's resume it now, Kylina. Use L2 for the at. Use stick to zoom in and out. It's a landscape. Which is Eagle Eye. Ah, motherfucker. I'll need to play a little bit more to see if the uh If you require a break, eh, by all means, take your time. Let me maybe amp it up just a teeniest bit. Just just a tiny bit here. Let's see if that does anything. Allow me to continue. Yeah, I'll work with it. We need a weapon though, we're out. Why is it that every time disaster strikes I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Growing stealth tactics. While the screen is distorted, press that to do a speed kill, which is your stealth kill. Wait for the dagger to flare before attacking. And there we go! And there we go! Doing some stealthy stilts. Alright, already off to a fantastic start. Approach enemy from behind without being seen to perform speed kill. Surprise, motherfucker! Simple as that. But, uh, eh, already off to a fantastic start. 
needing to leave to go do stuff, have to come back. I expect nothing less. Alright. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's a little fish gutter. I think that's what it's called, actually. Enemies on patrol. Back and forth area. Stealth attack seen, but not seen. I didn't really read that. I was too busy. Being a fucking ninja. Oh, when are we going to get to combat? Yeah, our primary weapon is just a uh, small little... Uh, Small little thingy here. Awesome. Finally, some first combat. Hold that block. You know what? Why am I doing this? Can I salt snake? Oh, I can. But his head doesn't go off. Alright. Beautiful. Run along the wall and press jump. Easy peasy. If you played the Warrior Within, which I just did, you'll be so used to this by now. Generally the same, but I think I like the combat in uh, Two Thrones a little bit better. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more refined. About the best I can describe it. We got to get our girl though. Move. All right. Kind of a given. And Babylon is all fucky. Kylina! Kylina! Just dragging her, man. No! Dragging her like a sled behind you. No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. From above. Death from above, motherfucker. Just dragging her behind you like whenever you were a kid and had that sled from sledding. You just drug it behind you. You really didn't care. Hey, boys. I'm not going to throw my weapon. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see what I mean? Where it has, like, more durability. I still have the same weapon. But I'll go ahead and grab another one. Sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Well, a good thing I'm back in town. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? Tower of Babylon. Looking a little pixely. So it took us a month to leave from the uh the island of time to get here. That's a long ass time. Oh, does he already see me? I don't think he sees me. That's good for him. Come on there, fella. <laughs> Death from above, motherfucker! That was weird. I think there was supposed to be a second attack for him. Don't worry, motherfucker. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Just you wait. I like death from above. Those are fun. However, I think this guy... As the archer is going to see me. Unless unless the guy patrolling moves. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, shit. Come on, give it to me. Yes. Oh, yes, Galaria's onto me. God, these guys are dropping like flies. Oh, it sucks. Getting in the throat. Oh. I love it, though. Also like I also like stealth, so it's even better for me. Pop a save. 
Staying hydrated, even in Babylon. Shall I continue my story? Yes, you may, Kylina. The Ramparts. Now, is that Ramparts or Ramparts? I never knew how to pronounce that. Ramparts? Ramparts. I don't know. It's been a good five months since I've played the Two Thrones. I will continue my story from here You should time. know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. <gasps> he had made a promise. A promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. It's kind of fucked up that it's not love. Look at this villager getting just pelted, man. He is taking a beating from hell. My god, man. How are you still breathing? I want to see him again. How are you still breathing? You've got the stamina of a hero. Other people are just getting like slapped around a little bit or just getting a stern talking to. Not that guy. Oh, no. He's getting shit on. But no, it's kind of fucked up. It's not love. It's, uh, it's a promise. Look at that! Can I get a closer look? Can I get a news anchor view? Look at that! Just getting decimated. This poor old man! <laughs> Damn! It's, it's never ending. But no, that's messed up. It's not love. It's, I know these streets. It's a job. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. Okay. I, I know how to look below. I'm waiting for someone to move, though. That's that's all right, guys. You don't see shit. Thank God your peripheral is all fucked up. Ow, motherfucker. Come on, go down. Watch me just swing around. I was hoping I could get both of them. That's alright. When you get, uh... When you get, uh, caught, it's not... It's not the biggest brouhaha of all time like some stealth games. Like, uh, prime example... Deus Ex, maybe? Not Mankind Divided, I haven't picked up that game yet. But, uh, Human Revolution? I know, like, you had the option of going loud and proud, or, uh... Quiet? I don't know what the best way is. Smart and quiet? I don't know. But, uh, I know for that game, at least the very beginning, it was really not the best idea to go loud and proud. Do you like that little thing, like Sam Fisher thing we did? Oh, I don't have weapon. That's alright, come here you big brawl man. Oh, no choke out? No choke out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to salt snake someone, I haven't done that in a bit. And by a bit, I mean a week. Come on, jump. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I thought I could make it! I just hit the floor like a wet piece of baloney. Allow me to tell you what really happened. Oh, really? That was just... Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. That didn't happen. You're a weird storyteller, Kylina. Alright, so I get round dose with this. I'm not too... I'm not too worried about it. Let's see if I can... get this perfect this time, then. There we go. Yes. Yes! Suck it, nerd! Beautiful. But yeah, it's, it's not a, 
it's not the worst thing in the world that if you get caught. Maybe I was maybe I was just not maybe it's because I was wanting to play uh Deus Ex stealthy stealthily as possible. Maybe that's why. Oh, these guys got fucking decimated. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to go back and check, because I haven't played uh Human Revolution in a bit, actually. I never beat it. Now look at this shit. It's like you're a kid. I know kids are like fucking spiders. Excuse me. What the hell did I just... Oh, I'm an idiot. Be right back with you. Okay, there is no choke out for this game. That makes me upset. I like I like salt snake and people. Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's see if we can do this with a whole lot less suck. <laughs> 